All right, it's Ohio Buckeye here. I was wanting to do a video on today with the Varska spotting scope. I was looking for a scope that I could take uh, out to the range and uh, use to see where I was shooting at and uh, did a little research and picked up this one. So I want to let you guys know, uh, you know, if this would be good for you or maybe if you want something a little bit better or what's going on. So uh, let's look at all the specs right here right on the box. And this is a Black Hawk. They have a different uh, 20 by 60 by 60s, but uh, this is a Black Hawk. Supposedly it's supposed to be a little bit better. It comes with a pretty nice little hard case. So, but this is how the original box is. I got it shipped here from Amazon. I found it was about the cheapest price. Uh, I've got it for 119 bucks, but uh, supposedly you can find them cheaper some other places. But I didn't look extremely hard. I just figured, yeah, I'll just get it. So let's go ahead and see what's uh, inside. Alright, you do get a pretty nice hard case. I mean, it's nothing crazy special, but it, it does what it's supposed to do. Uh, it says bar on it right there. Nice little camera case. Inside, you also you have little locks right here if you want to lock it. Mine's a little pitted right there. It came like that, I don't know what that's all about, but like I said, it's a cheap little case. It does what it's supposed to do, but it's, it's cheap. So inside, we actually got the scope and the mount, and when the, this all comes, it comes wrapped in plastic. But I'll go ahead and get this stuff out for you, I'll get the tripod out. People talked about the tripod being junk and stuff, it, it is a little hokey, but for what it is, it's nice, it works It works for me. It's pretty, it seems pretty, it's thin metal, but it's, it's pretty solid, you can see that. Pretty solid. I mean, it ain't going nowhere. The little rubber feet on it keep it from moving around. So, and then inside we got here, we got the actual spotting scope. So, I'm gonna put this on the tripod real quick. There you go, right there. Got the, the Barsha spying scope. I went ahead and went with the angled one. I wanted something uh, I could use at the shooting range. And I wanted something I could also use for hunting. I live here in Ohio, so yeah, I do deer hunt a little bit. And uh, <clears throat> that's why I went with the angled. If I was just using this for um, target practice, you know, looking looking down range just to see where I'm shooting and not using it for hunting. I definitely would have got this straight. It's a lot better, you know, if you're just sitting down, you ain't got to stand up and look through it. But it is nice if you're hunting, and like sometimes I like to look at the moon and stuff. You know, it's not it doesn't, you can't get a real good picture of it, but you can see it a little bit closer. It's nice. So, but anyways, it comes with a nice hard cap, it just screws right off, which is actually really nice because protects your lens pretty good. Let's take that off. And then it starts out at uh, 20, 20 zoom, and then you just spin this right here for more power. And I've actually noticed the scope, it, it, you can get it clear up to 60. I've heard that you can't, but actually what I've done at the range, you can. And this is focus right here. It's really nice, really really smooth. I mean, for 120 bucks, I really ain't got any complaints. I mean, and I gotta uh, protect your front cap right here. And then this also, it's, a, it's called a sunshade. Pops out like that. So if you're, it's a real sunny day, you don't get too much glare coming down. And uh, this can, this if you spin this, it'll lock it tight so it won't move. But you can adjust this up and down and move it left and right and stuff. But uh, what, what I wanted this for was basically to, um, using, using my range. <clears throat> my range is, 25 yards, 50 yards, 100 yards, and 200 yards. 
I, I looked online, read some reviews, and a lot of these, uh, you know, didn't, didn't specifically say, well, I can, you know, see really good at 100 yards, or I can't. So I, I kind of took a shot in the dark on this one, and I went ahead and got it. For, for everything from 25 to 100 yards, it's, it's great. You can see the bullet holes on white paper, no problem. When you go out to 200 yards, it's a little bit tougher to see the bullet holes on white paper, but I noticed if I use the, the black, uh, uh, the shiny, the glow targets or whatever they are when you shoot them, they glow like a different color, they're black. If you use those at 200 yards, you have no problem. You can see it easily. Now, if you're using this uh, uh, scope to go hunting, like out in Montana or wherever, you know, you got a whole lot of open space, this definitely wouldn't be it. But if you're like a place like Ohio, like I am, it's not a whole bunch of flatland, it's not a whole bunch of hills, I think this is good. I can definitely count a points on a buck from 500 yards away easy with this. And you know, it, it, it works good for that. But like I said, you know, if you're if you're going if you're using this just for the range, definitely get the straight. Don't get the angled. But if you're using this for hunting and everything, I I, I suggest you use the angled. This the scope itself for 120 bucks is not. It, it's it's a 120 dollar scope. You're not gonna get you know you you don't get a crazy clear picture. I mean it's clear, it's clear enough for everything I do, but it's not. You know worthy of the three, four hundred, five hundred dollar scopes out there. But for the price point, I didn't want to spend a whole bunch of money, but I didn't want to get junk at the same time. So I went ahead and went with this, and I think I would definitely buy it again. For, you know, for what I use it, it definitely uh, works well. You also get a, I forgot to mention here, you also get a, a lens wipe right there to wipe the lens off and make sure it keeps clean. You also get, there's an instruction manual. It does have a limited lifetime warranty. I'm not sure exactly what all that goes for. We also do get this little uh, soft case carrying bag. It has dividers on the inside. You can divide it uh, if you want to, you know, go a little bit lighter if you don't want to carry around the big heavy case. And uh, like I said, it also has keys here. You can lock it up. I don't know why you would, but I mean, I guess you could. But like I said, it, it, 200 yards, you can see the shot where you hit it's a little difficult but you can do it like i said if you if you get those uh those targets where they glow when you hit them you don't have no problem at all now if you want to shoot this if you want to shoot 300 yards you know with like two two three yeah you're gonna have a hard time yeah i, I just i don't know about 300 yards some guys say you can but I, I think that's pushing the limits of this so hopefully this helped you out if you know if you've got any questions or anything uh, leave a comment maybe i'll get back to you all right, so how about I'm out.